Hello, my lovelies. How's everyone out there doing? First off, I want to introduce you to Pippi. She's my Mother's Day present. I finally got her last Friday. So say hi. That's Pippi. Isn't she pretty? Say hi. Say hi to everybody. She said hi. She just kind of does her own thing. Anyway, um, so you guys, as you notice, I just kind of threw on some powder and some blush. A little bit of highlighter because you got to have my highlighter. Um, it's kind of, it's been a long journey um, the last few weeks because my nephew died. And I talked about that in another video. Um, I'm not going to tag it or anything because you guys probably have already seen it. I just didn't feel like doing the whole makeup thing. But I knew I'm behind on videos like extremely behind. I'm behind on all my comments. And I'm sorry guys, I'll try to co come up, uh, catch up with that. It's just been, it's been hard. It's been really, really hard. Um, I have not felt like putting makeup on. I've only put makeup on twice this month of May. And once was the day he died. And once was the day of the funeral. Other than that, I have not put makeup on at all. So the only thing I did was put my By Terry powder on. It's just the pressed powder. I put on a uh, blush that's in one of the once one of the boxes I'm going to do. I have, I have like seven different subscription boxes down here that I have not even done a review on. I've used products out of it um, this month since I've got them. So I've been trying to use some of the products. Um, actually, no, I put makeup on a couple times. We went camping. I forgot about that. So um, the three days I went camping. I totally forgot about that. We went camping in May and I did put makeup on then. Um, one of the things I'm going to talk about today I used when we went camping. So I'm going to insert a picture as I talk about that item so that you guys will see the look I came up with because I was going to use it again today and I just didn't feel like it. Um, yeah, I totally forgot about camping and camping was good. Camping was really good. It actually released some tension in my mind. Um, I'm getting into crystals now and I actually have a video that I put up. I'm just not in it. Um, I actually did it um, a different way that I'm going to be trying video. So you may see that before and you may see it after. We'll see. I'm um, just kind of talking kind of out of my head right now because I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. And I do this a lot. Like I'll go in little hiatus for a while and I'll come back. So if you're new, um, by the way, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. I don't even think I said that. Um, I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things. My life kind of goes here and then here because of my um, anxiety and depression and different other mental illnesses. And then my nephew dying kind of really, it hit me in the funeral, fun funeral, it hit me really hard. And thank God my, my two sons were there to kind of help me through that. Um, and my one son took it extremely hard. Ryan took it really, really hard. Um, and we're kind of there for each other. And Jacob, my other son that lives here, really helped me a lot. Uh, so it's been hard. It really has. But when we went camping, I was able to kind of de-stress and it helped me a whole lot. And we're going again next weekend. So I'm hoping that it'll help with that as well. So yeah. So I'm trying to kind of get back in the swing of things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do as many videos as I can. I don't know how much I'll get done. It's actually almost four o'clock. I was going to like three hours ago. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to put makeup on. I'm going to get done and do videos. And this is what you get. But you know what? I don't care because, you know, two years ago, I could never show my face without makeup on. But now I feel comfortable getting on here and talking to you guys and doing that. Um, I just haven't felt myself to be able to get on here and do that. So that's why I haven't done it up to now. As you see, my eyebrows aren't even on. Um, and I know you guys don't care, but a lot of you do. I know there's people out there that don't know me and haven't been here with me and you guys get on here and you expect to see a full face of makeup. If you do that, then you're not in the right channel because sometimes I don't do that because sometimes I can't because my, my mental capacity doesn't allow me to do that. I'll get to where I think I wake up and I think this is the day. This is the day I want to do that. And then I don't because my brain shuts off and that's just me. This is what happens with me. So I'm just going to show you the box I'm going to be talking about. And if you saw the title, then you already know. So I'm going to dig for that box and we're going to be talking about my ice cream beauty box. I got the ice cream beauty box. Um, this is the third box I've gotten, right? Yeah, third box. Um, and I really like it so far. I really, really do. The first box, of course, is my first box and I really like that one. The second box was okay. This box here, the palette I got in this box, I love. And it's by Baybella. And it's the another box, another palette I got from them. I really love that one too. I had never heard of the brand before. And if it wouldn't be for the box, I would never have heard of them. So I will insert a picture of the look that I did with them right about here somewhere. 
and you will see how much it how well it looked it like really looked good i thought it did um it allowed me this brand allowed me to experiment with blues a little bit um and i actually even did my color pop um into the hue i think it's called and i used blue in that one too um so that's the one i used camping this one i did I used my ColourPop camp and this one I did before camping, so I don't know if I said that or not. But I actually did this as soon as I got this box, which was earlier in the month. I actually used the palette and I loved it. Um, so we're going to talk about this a little bit. This box is available through Crate Joy, which I will tag below, or you can get it on their site. I actually just canceled through Crate Joy. And I know you're thinking, well, that's really good because you're an affiliate with Crate Joy. And that's just okay. You know, just because you're an affiliate with someone doesn't mean you can't go outside the box <laughs> but anyway um i am loyal to what i do but i'm also frugal because i have to be i can't work anymore since my cancer diagnosis so since i can't work anymore i have to be frugal um and i decided to go with a three month subscription which you can also get on crate joy but i found out um as much as i like to uh put it out there that i can make money off of things I also want to give you the best deal and I found out through um, them that you can actually get cheaper shipping if you go through their site so it's totally up to you because I know Crate Joy runs um, like you can sign up uh, and get a subscription from them so if you want to get your first box then you get a, a discount off so by all means do that that's what I did I signed up for the first box and I got like a, a discount off and then I got through actually the second and the third that way but then I talked to them and I canceled the subscription with Crate Joy and then I went over to them to save shipping and I decided to go ahead and sign up for three months because I like their box so this month's theme is spring flowers um, I have one two three four five six items which I think there's always like five or six items and the first thing I'm going to talk about is not the palette. It's actually um, the bronzer because I have the bronzer on. I use it for contouring. Um, you really can't really see it because I didn't really, I did a very minimalistic look. But it's by um, Duche. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But it's right here. And I got the Golden Hour. And it's perfect. I really, really like it. And I will show that to you. Oh, the kitty cat's sleeping on my husband's clothes. It's so cute. But it's a very, it's a hard case. Made very well. Um, this is the color right here. If I can, let me do this. This is the color right here. So it's perfect for me. It really is. Um, it does come with a little brush, which, you know, it's okay. I don't, I like my own brushes, but this is the brush it comes with right here. Um, it worked pretty good on the nose though. I tried that today and it does work pretty good on the nose. Um, but I like to use my Luxie brush and, um, which is, this is the one. It's called a chisel brush, contour um, a fair brush. I'm sorry. It's a fair brush for like, um, like around here and then down through here. I like to use my fair brush. And then I use my Luxie brush, which is, uh, it's over here. I use my Luxie brush for like here because it fits perfectly in there. But I really like the palette a lot. Um, so I've been using that so I can kind of get a feel of what that's like. And I really like it. Um, and they say the value on this is $40, but I found it for $38. That's one thing I've been finding with them is their values are a little different. Um, and the next thing is the palette. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the palette. The palette, they did have a choice on this. That's one thing I did not get with Crate Joy. I did not get the option of a choice. They only do, I, I contacted them. They only do choices every once in a while, she told me. Um, and with going with them, I will get the emails for the choice items. She said it's unfortunate I didn't get it through Crate Joy, and she doesn't understand why I didn't. It could have just been a miss, she said. But the choices were a shade with, of roses, and then there was another one. But this is the way the container looks, or the packaging, and the inside's the same. But this is the actual unicarton, and this is what she looks like right here I'm all blind you. this is what it looks like right here and you can see like this this um glitter right here is extremely soft but and i said i used the blues i'm sorry that that was the 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 last palette the last palette from them was the blues and then the color pop one was the blues but this is the palette right here and like i said i will tag a picture um of what um look i came up with but it is so pretty i really really like it um i know that i think about it you know what I might have spoke too soon. So if you didn't see, if you did not see a picture earlier, I may have not taken a picture of this one. I might have been thinking about the last one I did. 
I'm sorry, I'm, my brain scattered. But anyway, I really like it, so I can't wait to try it again. The pigmentation is really superb, and it's smooth, and it blends really, really good. So I really liked it. Um, and the next three things, I believe, is a giveaway. Um, the blush, uh, the palette is worth um, $12, and that was correct. The next thing is confusing to me, and it's actually blush paper, and it's actually in this little package right here. And I did open it um, to see what it was. I thought it was like, you know, a, fragrance thing or something and then I read it and it's a blush paper um but I did open it to see exactly what it was but it says it is worth $18 I found it for $15 on their actual site and I found these prices on their site and this is what it is um it's actual I don't want to touch it it's actual blush papers that you actually put on and rub on your face I, I don't want to try that because I just think that's kind of odd but some of you guys might know what that what that is so it will be in a giveaway so yeah, I don't I don't get that. And the next thing is by Stina Face. It's a velvet dream stick, um, and it says it is it says hello gorgeous. You must be one smart cookie. This is not your ordinary matte lipstick. It's a, it's just the lipstick, and it says this is worth um, fifteen. I found it for twelve. What baby? What? She's talking to me. What, baby? What do you want? Really? You want to be in it? And this is the color, and I have tried this, and I really like it. I was thinking this was a giveaway item, but it wasn't. But that's the color right there. I really like that, too. Um, I'm going to put it over top of what I got. Right in the center. It's really pretty. It looks darker than what it is. Um, where are you going? Hi, baby. Um but i like it so that's that's a keeper and put that to the side okay so the next two things or the next thing i'm sorry or the next two things I'll, I'll get it right see like i said it takes me a while to catch up is definitely a giveaway the next one is the glam queen mascara it says it's 17 and it was 69 so that's true that's carver bime it's by the brand oh she's laying down at my feet and i did open it because i wanted to see what the brush looked like but this is the actual um component right there for you let me get it closer right there and this is what the wand looks like and it's not my kind of wand we're trying not to touch it here okay that's what the wand looks like i like silicone wands i don't like brush wands um if i can get it to come in i touched something on my camera a little while ago because it's been a while since i used it and i actually touched the focus on it by accident but that's the wand and i just don't like brush wands so i'm putting that in a giveaway it does click close that way you know it's closed but you don't baby girl okay so that's a giveaway and the blush papers are giveaway and the next thing is a giveaway too actually um foxy charm had these and i thought they were really cute really pretty and i didn't get them in mind but other people did um but i felt them and they don't they just feel kind of chinchy to me other people that got them um if you've got them comment below and i'm just curious what other people thought about them but they're by beauty creations i found these at walmart they're seven piece brush set for 12 20 but i found them at walmart for 12.99 and they come in this plastic um outer package and then they look like this so i hope i just dropped one okay so i can show you what it looks like without opening it so this is what they look like which is really cool that they you know they they do this really cute little thing so that is really cool, but to me, it's not cool enough for a brush. You know what I'm saying? It's just, um, to me, it's gimmicky, but it's cool. It really is cool. But they just didn't feel, they felt cheap to me. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, but there are several in here. You have your lip brush, you have your fan brush, your shaders, um, your face brushes. This is all the brushes in case you didn't see them in there. I just didn't like the feel of them. So that's going to be in a giveaway. So what we have here are three giveaway items and three that I'm keeping. The total that they have is 122 and I have 106.98. Might as well say 107. So it's a difference of 15 bucks. Not that bad. Um, but I really like the box. I really, really do. Um, half and half is typical, you know, for like the boxy charm. I usually have like a half and half kind of situation. Um, and I really, like I said, I really like their boxes because I think the palettes that, that, I, that we get is really good. If you look at last month's, um, I'll tag at the end last month's box. You'll see the palette that I got was really pretty in that. And then I got the highlighter I got, I actually got in one of their boxes. It's Ocalin, Ocalin, 
Oakland. And this is the, the, the highlighter I have on. And I've been using this a lot. You can see this pink is like starting to dip in a little bit. But I've been using this highlighter like probably, I think I have not used it in all my looks once. All the other looks I've been using this because I really, really, really like it. So that is something I got in my first box I got from them. But anyway, I want to know what you guys think below. Just let me know. Um, I think the box is 20 Did I write it down? It's $21 plus your shipping. Um, you get five to seven items. You always get a palette. It's always full-size items. Um, one month I did get, I think it was last month, I got um, a skincare item, but it was rose, so I had to give that away. Um, so you're not guaranteed all makeup, I think. I think sometimes you might get a skincare. I really don't know. I've only had three boxes, but I really like this box a whole lot. I'm really glad I got it. If you get ice cream, let me know what you think. And thank you guys for all your love and support. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I know I'll get through this because I know Josh would not want me dwelling on it. Um, it's just really hard knowing that I don't have him there anymore. But I know I'll be okay. Um, I know he'd want me to be okay. And, you know, I still have, um, I have his... His kids that um, you know, I know they're out west, but I still know they're there, and I gotta watch them grow up and you know see what they become. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I love you and thank you for being there. And you guys take care of yourself. Be good to be good to yourself and each other, and stay safe. And I hope you come back to see me again. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and jumping on board this crazy train that I call my lovelies. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.